His first ball in test cricket was a full toss, hit for four. His last ball claimed a wicket, his 431st. No one had bowled with greater intelligence or control, and he was a genuine all-rounder. New Zealand's greatest player, Richard Hadley, is one of ESPN's legends of cricket. November 1985, Richard Hadley turned in one of the greatest bowling performances in the history of cricket, taking 9 for 52 and 6 for 71 against Australia. And he's gone in right through him and that makes it 6 in the second innings, 15 for the match and New Zealand have won by an innings and 41 runs. Well my lasting memory I guess would be that test match in Brisbane where he got all those wickets. He was unplayable at the time. I mean, his control was excellent and it had been raining for about three days before the test match and there was just a lot of movement. It was just perfect bowling conditions and he was the ideal person to exploit them. So I think if you ask me about Richard Hadley, I'll probably say, well, that was my lasting memory because I had a sort of a ringside seat to the whole thing. So he, he was just quite brilliant on that day and, and clearly that's what he had a lot of those sort of performances, but particularly that was probably one of his best. You're unbelievably respected. You know, it's uh, it's funny. We, we look at number of wickets, you know, and you've got to actually look and say what bowlers they had with him to help him get those wickets and, and where. And he just carried the attack all the time for the Kiwis, you know. Hadley leads his team off the field. One of the great performances of all time. Line length, the perfect fast bowling ploy. No bounces, no intimidation, just pure skill. Every side needs a strike bowler, and he was their strike bowler. He, you know, on a, you know, if, if you were playing in New Zealand, the, the wickets generally tended to suit them. And if he, on his day, he would he would more often than not get five for. And I don't know quite how many fifers he'd got in his career in New Zealand, but I know on his home ground, Christchurch, he was he was always just a handful. And if he didn't get five for, there was something wrong. People think you've got 300 test wickets, you're the all-time all great bowlers, but there's a few bowlers out there with 300 test wickets, not that great. He's great. And he made two or three test hundreds as well, and good in the field and good everywhere else. No, he was, uh, he deserved to be every right to be the top three New Zealand sportsmen or people of all time, really. He's, he, was, he was that good. One of the great spells of test bowling by Richard Hedley. At his best, Hadley was a clinically efficient fast bowler with remarkable control and a broad range of deliveries. I think Richard Hadley was arguably the most accurate fast bowler that, that maybe ever played, I don't know to say that, that I, I'd seen. I mean, you felt with him, he could put the ball on any sixpence that you want to place on the wicket at any time. Um, he also had everything else you needed. I mean, he, he could move the ball, he could cut the ball, he, he, could, he could do what he wanted with it. But it was this, this accuracy under almost any circumstances that was, it was remarkable. Headley to Tabaret. Ah! And that's a pair for a catch behind, and Tabaret is up. And the fact that I was able to swing the ball a bit and, and to seam it and had a nagging line and length um, sort of, sort of uh, aspect to my game that I guess if you keep putting the ball in the right place and you create the opportunities and if, and if you can catch behind the wicket you're going to get your fair share of um, return. He demanded a lot of himself, he demanded high standards from his teammates but uh, through it all uh, he is probably uh, I guess one of the wisest bowlers. He, he looked at conditions and, and used them pretty well on most occasions. And he's allowed a clear for LBW and he's out. Richard Hadley was a master at his ability to probe at batsmen's weaknesses. That really was the thing that separated him from many, many other bowlers, not only in his era, but also in past eras and future eras too. He was able to analyse a batsman's technique and spot weaknesses and really clinically expose them. Edge. 
without Richard Adley in the team, they wouldn't have been the same. So he was their match winner, he was their key. If he performed well, they had a chance. They could bowl the opposition out twice. And he just gave them that confidence and that class to compete really with all, all the best teams at that time. Hadley was a much more talented batsman than is indicated by his test average of just over 27. 50 comes up, Richard Hadley, 51. Hadley could be dangerous with the bat. Uh, didn't score as many runs as I think he should have done. Uh, but having said that, he was carrying the bowling for New Zealand. He wasn't in a strong side, so something had to suffer. But yeah, he was a genuine all-rounder and genuinely very, very dangerous with the bat, as he proved on many occasions, not just against England, but opposition from around the world. Full, driven straight back over his head, a good shot, straight, true and hard. What can I say about Richard? The be one of the, the best, you've got to put him up there uh, as a ball, and there's not been many better ballers in the history of the game. You've only got, and as a batsman, I mean, you can put him up there, he's got crucial runs for New Zealand in test matches, and uh, and he could play, he was, he could play, and uh, he, he, as all-rounders go, there's not been many better. Well, good straight hit. That could be six. That is six. Well hit, Richard Hadley.